Hey guys, what's up? This is Sparks, and I'm going to be showing you guys how to install Mod Loader for Minecraft 1.5. So Mod Loader isn't really a mod that adds anything into your actual game like you can notice or anything. Um, but what Mod Loader actually does is it's an assisting for other mods. So um, there are some mods in, on YouTube and on uh, that mod creators have created that do require Mod Loader for your game to work. So if you just installed their mod, like if they say, hey, we need you need Mod Loader, um, so if you just install their mod and you don't install Mod Loader, then it's not going to work and you're going to get a black screen. So the reason why we're installing Mod Loader is only if a mod is required for Mod Loader. Now, one quick note, uh, Mod Loader is not uh, compatible with Minecraft Forge. So if you're going to be installing Forge or any mods that require Forge, it's not compatible with Minecraft Forge. So there's just a huge problem that I think a lot of people are going to have. Um, if you guys have Forge or if you guys have, uh, have any mods that require Forge, again, it's not compatible. So, first thing I want to show you guys is if you guys go down to the link in the description that says Mod Loader for 1.5, I'm just going to take you right to this website. And at the very top, you're going to see this. It's a Rizugami's Mod Loader. It's his site, and it's got all of his mods on it. There's plenty of other mods, and uh, it, it's a great website to go to just for mods in general. But anyway, this is where you download the Mod Loader for 1.5. So you can download it, add flight or direct does not matter. When you download it, save it to your desktop just like this, and it will should just lo look just like that. Now, um, to get started, if you guys have um, again, if you guys have any kind of mods that uh, require Forge or anything like that, I would recommend going to Minecraft, uh, going to Options and Force Updating Your Game, click Done and Log In. The reason why I'm doing that is because that gets rid of the Forge and gets rid of those some of the other mods that are, are not compatible with uh, Mod Loader. So if you guys aren't sure, uh, I do recommend this. So just force update your game, and uh, it's a it's a better way of not getting a black screen. Um, if you guys do install this mod and you get a black screen, that's probably because they weren't compatible with Mod Loader. So we're gonna get started as soon as this loads. I'm not sure why this Mojang stream just takes forever. But anyway, uh, once you guys have force updated your game, you see Minecraft right here. Make sure you guys close Minecraft after it's done. And make sure Minecraft is always closed when installing mods. So on the bottom left hand corner, you're going to see this percent at that percent. Now to get started, if you click on start and you type in percent a p p d a t a, that's percent app data, and another percent, you're going to see this roaming folder. Now for Windows 8 users, um, you're going to see you're going to have to click run or type run or something like that, and then go to percent app data percent, and you're going to find this roaming folder. So anyway, I'm using Windows 7, so it's just as easy as typing that in there. So click on the roaming folder, and you're going to see this dot Minecraft folder on the very top right here. You're going to open Minecraft, and you're going to see this bin resources and saves. You're going to want to click on bin, and you're going to see this natives, and you're going to see this Minecraft right here. Now, this is an executable draw file, so if you just try to open it, it's not going to allow you to open it. So if you right-click on it and open it with WinRAR, you are able to open it. Now, if you guys don't have WinRAR or, or have it installed, the link will be in the description so you guys can download WinRAR and install it. Um, so if you guys, um, once you have installed WinRAR and you guys have opened it with the Minecraft um, once you have opened the minecraft.jar with winrar, you're going to see this meta-imp folder right here. You're going to want to delete that meta-imp folder. The reason why we're deleting meta-imp is because it does not allow mods to run. So, once meta-imp is deleted, you can open Mod Loader. So, once you have that opened, you're going to see all these files here. If you just right-click, select all, and you just drag all these files into the minecraft.jar that you open with winrar, push OK, and you are completely done. Now, uh, for your other mods, uh, let's say... Um, I think the timber mod um, that you can use mod loader. Um, there's there's plenty of mods. Uh, Rizugami's website here. Actually, a lot of these mods do require mod loader. So anyway, um, if you guys just download that and it's on your desktop just like that, you just open that and drag it in there just like that. And that is why you need mod loader because uh, mod loader uh, helps install those mods. And if you don't have it, uh, you might get a black screen. Um, but mod loader is not required for all mods. Only mods that say uh, mod loader is required. So that's how to install it, and you guys are completely done. You can exit out of that, and you guys can play your Minecraft, and uh, you guys are ready to go. So again, thanks for watching this video.